my house is on fire. Okay, so here's what we were looking at. 2015 Street Triple with uh, front end damage. I think I have all the parts to rebuild that front end on my triple that I have. It would not be worth restoring it and we are looking to do something with all the parts on it because it is a relatively complete bike. Always nerve wracking. I've done this so many times and I'm still a little like, my heart rate's definitely elevated. And I'm also going to be buying another bike, probably Daytona, that will use this bike's motor. At least that's my thinking right now. We got to give ourselves some max, like 700 bucks, I think, with fees. 1100 shipping, 1500 I'm moving in two weeks. I don't know if I need to have this at the house, the new house, or this house. Okay, we're up. Oh, oh. 650, 700, 700, 400, 1100, fuck it, 700. That's the highest. Okay. Mm, looks like we're gonna win it. Bet. I just keep buying stuff. Oh, who's that? We got a new buy. <laughs> Welcome to my party, we're just getting started A life is a dream or a nightmare scarring Hand me a drink cause I think I'm going all in Chain looks decent Oxygen sensor is broken off The forks look like they have some minor wear and tear Front tire could use a little bit of air And the front wheel could use a little bit of uh, TLC Just some good cleaning Outside of that, I think we have a perfectly good bike uh, front is a little ugly. We'll give it a nice wash make it nice and pretty and we'll be good to go Yeah, so what I think I'm gonna try and do today is make this thing rollable so that I can load it up on a trailer I think I finally found a battery that works and is fully charged so, moment of truth. Yeah, I'm taking six shots, yeah, straight to the face. And I wanna get lost, I'm sick of this place. Don't know how to stop when I'm feeling this way. So I'm taking six shots till I'm feeling That didn't sound or look very good. Okay, well, the good news is that it runs. The bad news is that we have so much smoke. My house is on fire. Now, I did load up some stuff into this car already, which is why, basically, sorry about all this. Yet. This is what our new garage is like. Uh, still obviously in the process of unpacking stuff and uh, setting it all up and organizing, but I honestly kind of like this. I like the fact that uh, it is a two and a half, which is exactly what the old house was. However, the like half part was only on one side of the garage door. There was like a workbench and stuff like that. All the tools, everything could have gone there. But then on the other side, there was a very small amount of room between the garage door and the wall. I couldn't really fit anything on that side. Here I can fill up both sides, and which works really good for bikes. And then all my tools and stuff is gonna be here. Probably toolbox will go somewhere on there. And then we have all this room in the back. Hopefully, I think lengthwise we're gonna be fine. B5 S4 engine, uh, the spare motor that's eventually going to go into that car is, uh, Leaking oil, uh, as I found out after we left the engine here for a while, so... The race car is officially at the new house. As we all know, home is where the race car is. Okay. The move has been complete. This is us. 
it's been an adjustment. As you can tell, this amount of driveway space is not what it used to be at the old house. This is a major downgrade, just in terms of this. Uh, so now that the garage is basically all set up, uh, what I have to do is, well, for one, fix these two bikes. Uh, this one has a very apparent issue. Obviously, it has leaky forks. This one has a more hidden issue. Apparently chewing up the bearings, the rod bearings or crank bearings or something. The previous owner was told that they found brass, um, chunks of brass metal in the oil. It will most likely be getting a new motor from that bike. Earlier in this channel, I had put that motor back together, put it into this bike just to find out that this bike is just too, too long gone and there's a bunch of messed up wiring in the harness. I tried fixing it, but honestly, not worth the trouble. As you can see, this bike is absolutely trashed by the previous owners. Paint, wiring, uh, welded frame. Uh, that's how they mounted the wiring. All kinds of stuff that we don't want to deal with. I, I, I tried, but then I realized it's better to just use that bike for parts, which it already did. It already donated the ignition switch to my 765 triple. It's supposed to run. I'm not gonna work on it today, but I do want to hear, God, this thing is gorgeous. Anyway, okay, let's see. By the way, yes, this is the most bikes I've ever had at a time. Four is honestly a pretty big number. As I mentioned, uh, this bike has a bit of a paint job. Once I take off the parts, I'm gonna have to strip off this ugly paint. There's gonna be some changes with this move. Clearly, I now have a significant decrease in my driveway space. Basically, I don't see myself owning less than three cars anytime soon, plus Kira's car. Uh, and that's all that we have room for in the driveway. So I can't buy any more new cars. That means I can't flip cars. That means I can't pick up new project cars for now. However, this move might motivate me and just speed up the process of me doing something I've, that I've wanted to do for a long time. And that is opening my own, not exactly a mechanic shop, but probably more leaning towards a dealership because I really want to get my dealer's license. Having this lack of room is definitely going to motivate me to get that commercial space that I need uh, in order to get a dealer's license. Uh, it's gonna take some time for sure. Don't expect this to happen too soon, but uh, that is what I'm working towards. That's what I really like to do. So if you're interested to see whether I'm going to succeed at that, please hit that subscribe button. Please hit a like button to help me keep that motivation and get to where I wanna get to. Okay, this is definitely a terrible idea, but it seems to work. I have this, what, three by three, holding it up on those header bolts or studs, and then I have two jacks for in case the thing tries to tip over and kill me. Hopefully stable enough for what we're trying to do. Which is basically just removing the whole front end. I'm about to pop up Fuck you, you're lost We all know that we never really want a boss So I'ma do what I want to Something I can't undo Yeah, I'ma do what I want to Something I can't undo I'm taking six shots, yeah, straight to the face And I wanna get lost, I'm sick of this place Don't know how to stop when I'm feeling this way So I'm taking six shots till I'm feeling okay I think I'm going crazy Don't think I'll get on set So I'm taking six shots all straight to the face I'm taking six shots, are you coming with me? I'm taking six shots, yeah, straight to the face And I wanna get lost, I'm sick of this place